In this video, I'm going to be showing you the best blitz in Madden 23 against any formation, any personnel grouping, any, I mean, literally anything. This is the best blitz by far. And I want to explain and unpack why this defense is so uh, effective, not just for the fact that the blitz is really good, but also for the fact that it's really hard to block and it creates a lot of problems in the coverage game. Now, uh, we'll show this against Bunch. We might show it against Tide as well. Um, actually, I'm going to show it against Tide at first, and then I'll talk about it against Bunch. But it's dollar three two, and it's baseline dollar specifically. Now, uh, I'm going to get into why my baseline dollar is as good as it is uh, in just a second. But if you want to get my entire dollar three two defense V-Bug, we don't only go over the blitz pick up or the blitz pressure concepts, as well as the run defenses. We also show through uh, the best adjustments for the best formations in the game. So if you're not a Patreon member yet, you get access to all of that by becoming one. It's only $10 to become a Patreon member. And the link is down in the description. All right, guys, so first and foremost, I want to just kind of show like why baseline dollar is so good. So um, I'm going to show you a couple of different variations of how to blitz out of DB Fire. One of them um, is this right here. This is a, basically a loop blitz concept off of one edge and then an edge pressure off of the other one. So what you'll see here is you'll get this kind of glitchy disengage off of uh, the left side of the screen. Now, uh, what we could do with this is we could do something like uh, this, for example, and the beauty of loop is that you only have to send four, but it is relatively inconsistent. As you can see right there, it's just, it's, it, 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 it can be, um, you know, rather inconsistent. So that's something, uh, you know, just to kind of like, again, you know, just think through, uh, I'll show you it again here. This is a little bit of a better version of it. And then we'll also talk about why uh, baseline press dollars really, really, really good. So as you see there, there's a loop pressure. So if you kind of work through like the time that that blitz not only takes to set up, but also the time uh, in pre-snap, but also the time that it actually gets to the quarterback, you'll see here, like, yes, this is a really good blitz, but if you actually just run it as a snap, it's about 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. It's about three seconds uh, for that blitz to to get there. And I can uh, uh, show you here uh, in a couple different ways here, but we'll try to show it again. And again, just kind of count through like 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. And that actually came relatively quickly, but about three seconds on average in terms of how that's going to get in at the quarterback. Um, now, what about like just this, this left side pressure here? So if we just set it like this right here, um, if you watch the right side of the screen, you'll see 1,001, 1,002, okay, about two and a half seconds of time if you said five. Now, if you run baseline and press dollar, baseline press, you're gonna notice something here. So if we count this out, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, it's about the same time that it takes and it's a lot easier to set up because you literally only have one adjustment to set up dollar. Now I wanna show you the same basic thing in terms of bunch and then I'm also gonna talk about uh, one of my favorite uh, or, or some of the best adjustments you can do at a dollar and, 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 and really just how the formation works. So uh, you'll see right here, so this is spinner. Uh, basically, you know, you just utilize spinner for that really nice blitz angle that you get out of it. And then you can do something like this. And what you'll see is 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. If they get any kind of bump whatsoever and loop blitzes are much easier uh, to pick up than they were at the beginning of the year. Okay, at the beginning of the year, they were a lot harder to pick up. Uh, but now, like, it's pretty easy to pick up the, the loop blitz. But as you see, when it comes, it does come a little bit slightly faster, specifically um, against bunch. Okay. Now, what about baseline and press dollar? Let me go into coaching adjustments and I'll show you uh, why this is so good. And I'm also gonna show it to you against spread out formations as well, because some people do run spread. So first and foremost, the only adjustment I have to make is I'm just simply going to press, that's it. That's all I do, I just press. You can bring your safeties down, that will help a little bit. Um, you know, but then, like I said, you know, just get in here, press and, and boom, 1,001, 1,002, pressure's coming in in about three seconds. Okay, now the other reason why uh, baseline press dollar is so good is if your opponent blocks their running back, it's relatively inconsistent for them to actually be able to pick up the blitz. So you're gonna send five. Um, if they don't block their running back, I literally don't have to make any adjustments whatsoever. You'll see, I just run the play and the blitz comes in, okay? So just kind of like, you know, quick tip on that. Now, where this really comes to uh, like a head is if you take a look here at spread sets. So when I say spread, like any kind of doubles flex, okay? So if I come out like in this in this spread flex set and I run DB Fire 2, all I'm gonna do is, I'm, again, I'm just gonna press, I'm gonna pass commit. Again, spread sets, you don't really have to bring your safeties down, but you can, uh, but the bottom line here is you're gonna see 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. It's the same timing. 
Okay, it's the same timing. Now, let's say that I unbaseline and I try to run the defense like this. You see they're a little closer, right? So you would think they would come in faster. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, almost 1,004. The reason why is if you watch in replay, this is something very interesting about this blitz this year. The players run, you see how they kind of run like, this is kind of a back to the movement thing of Madden this year. But if you watch this slot corner, he's not running at a great angle. He's running in and then look right here. You see that like force fields him up and he has to hesitate for a second, and then he has to come around. That movement delays the pressure. So that's why if I just simply press, okay, watch what happens. Now they run straight horizontally, almost diagonal, at a 45 degree angle, and the blitz comes in significantly faster. Not to mention the fact that now we can spend the majority of our time doing adjustments, which is the most important part of defense, and still understanding that the blitz is still really, really, really good. And the other benefit of this is, check this out. So let's say that they continually send the running back out on a route. We're just going to man the running back up. That's the only adjustment. It's one of my favorite adjustments against spread formations because the four-man pressure always comes in. It always comes in if they don't block five uh, or if they don't block six. So you're always at a plus one advantage with this defense, and you can take away their first read by just simply manning the running back up. Now, um, real quick, if I did that, and let's say, for example, they blocked the running back, you're going to notice that he sometimes won't even get over there to pick up the pressure, okay, especially in spread sets. So the, these are kind of the, the reasons why Dollar is such a good defense. And, you know, real quick, just one of my favorite things to do, specifically like if I'm facing any kind of two by two tight, you don't have to send five every play. We can send four. So like if I want to send four uh, specifically against a formation like this, we're going to man that running back up. OK, uh, and then what we're going to do over here on uh, the, the left side of the screen is I personally really like to quarter uh, and then basically just simply cross man um this this side over here on the right and then on the right on the other side or on the left i apologize and then over here we could just do something like this um or i mean you could even man them up like that or however you want to but basically the bottom line is this four man will come in every single time pretty much or at least it will get you know it will create really really good pressure for us and then we're able to adjust off of that so you know you can create a ton of different coverage concepts like for example in this specific formation you know this is probably the best way to defend it because now what we can do is we can man up there and then we can also cross man basically everybody on the on the left and then we can play cover two on the right with my user in the middle of the field taking away that stuff and as you can see the four man pressure and the bracket concept over there on the corner route this is why dollar is so good and i would really recommend i said this i said this after the latest uh, when they patched the loop if you are not spending the rest of the year in baseline dollar i think you're really missing it because the pressure comes in so fast out of baseline specifically, um, that it really does make it that much better than every other defense in the game. If you guys want to learn how I like to run dollar, make sure you're in the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member. You can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.